It's one of the most dramatic scenarios on the gridiron. It's fourth and goal, and the game comes down to one play. Thousands of pounds collide, fighting for a few inches of turf. So what we want to know is just how much weight can an NFL offensive lineman push back into the end zone? Is it enough to move a truck? Touchdown! To find out about the goal line push, we brought in two of the game's toughest offensive linemen. Star tackle, Joel Staley. And Super Bowl champ, Marvell Smith. They may not get the glory, but as offensive linemen, they're the foundation for every play. And there's no bigger play in football than the push at fourth and goal. Fourth and one is by far the hardest yard to get. On fourth and one, if a defense can stop you from scoring a touchdown, it's pretty likely you might lose that game. Joe. Well, Marvell, right. you're the biggest and the strongest on the field and the hardest working. No doubt about that one. So here's the test. This is your target for fourth and goal. This thing weighs 12,000 pounds. Have you ever done a test like this? Yeah, I mean, I had some, you know, dummies at home that I hook up to my big truck like this. I just practice, you know, different drills, try to, you know, help me on fourth and one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're gonna explode off the line. And we're gonna see how much weight you can move on fourth and goal. You ready to do it? Oh, yeah! Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> First, what I want to do, get these big tree trunks down low. I'm going to get in my raging bull stance. You get down on the line, look him in the eye, he knows what's coming. I'm going to come off the ball low, come off the ball nasty, say, hut! If you've ever run out of gas, you might have had to push your car out of traffic. But the average car weighs only 4,000 pounds. And this truck weighs triple that. To push six tons of truck, Marvell and Joe will have to overcome this truck's inertia. Inertia is the resistance objects have to changes in motion. And at 12,000 pounds, this truck is going to put up one heck of a fight. This is a tech scan pressure mapping system. We're gonna mount this to the pads that are on the front of the truck. We're gonna be able to measure the amount of force that's generated when it's fourth and goal. With the sensors mounted, we're going to add one more wrinkle to this experiment. All right, we're gonna throw a little twist into the whole thing, and we're gonna load it up. With what? <laughs> Let's bring on the guys! What is this? Oh, man. <laughs> we're going to load the truck with an entire high school football team. That's an extra 3,000 pounds for Joe and Marvell to handle. A total of 15,000 pounds means these guys will try to push the equivalent of 10 entire defensive lines. It's gonna be easy. It's all mind over matter. At least that's what I'm telling myself. Kids are gonna go flying off the back. So much force is gonna hit them. So we've added over 3,000 pounds. That means that we're now over 15,000 pounds. It's fourth in inches. You got 15,000 pounds between you and touchdown glory. Let's do it. Ready? Start the sensor. Joe, you ready? Ready. Marvell, you ready? Ready. Set. Hot. Go, 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 go! Touchdown! Woo! That's a TD! Woo! That's a TD! Woo!
touchdown. That's six points. The data from the tech scan sensors reveals that Joe and Marvell exploded into the truck with 2,600 pounds of force. That's like trying to do a push-up with one of these blocking sleds on your back. But impact force alone wasn't enough to send this oversized load to pay dirt. They gotta drop their center of balance, lower their center of gravity, spread their feet out, and really create a force by driving as hard and fast as they can into the ground. In these titanic smash-ups, it's actually not impact force that wins the fight. It's how well the players leverage that driving force. Great offensive linemen use levers in the body to produce the greatest mechanical advantage over their opponents. To do that, they have to get low and align their bodies to make maximum use of the levers in the ankles, knees, hips, and elbows. Incredibly, this leverage allows Joe and Marvell to sustain a force level of 1,150 pounds for seven seconds. Convert that force production to power, and these two generated 12,000 watts. That's enough juice to power the average home for a day. Over the course of the 100 or so plays during the average game, all five offensive linemen produce a total of three million watts of power. That's enough to power your house for three months. 15,000 pounds, fourth to one. Y'all better get your weight up, because I'm bringing it. And none of y'all want it like that. Two big, beautiful guys, like Marvell and myself, pushing around a 15,000 pound truck. It's going to be a fan favorite. And it's going to win that. Coming up on Sports Science, can clothing affect athletic performance? We'll put a radical concept in sports gear to the test when Sports Science continues.